What's happening? This is Kenyatta of Hip Hop Motivation. Today I want to talk to you guys about the importance of research, checking things out, raising your stock in the game, becoming better at whatever you choose to do. I learned that education is what increases value. You know, but not all of us are college educated. Some of us are spiritually educated. Some of us are street educated. But whatever type of education that you look into, understand that it has its benefits. Now, if a person's working a job and they want to become a more valuable member of the team or whatever corporation they're working for, I would say that it would take an adequate amount of research and education to up their skills and whatever they're doing to also increase their value within the company. See, you have to raise your stock in the game through education and research in order to become more valuable on all levels of the playing field. Even as a barber and a beautician in the, in the salon, you know, I've always been a big person into taking extra classes, you know, like when they used to have haircut classes. Go check out a few haircut classes, you know, they might have scissor technique classes, hair coloring classes, and those things can up your game and up your stock within your salon, with your services. It's the same principle when, if you're an athlete and you want, to, you want to become a valuable member of your team that you're already on, or you just want to be valuable on the, on the court altogether, you got to work on your jumper, educate yourself, pay attention to nutrition and health, understand and educate yourself on people that have done it before you on what type of training methods they used. See, education is key. Write this down. You must learn more to become more. That is also on my chapter from The Secret to Balling Journey called Check It Out Research. And in that chapter, I talk about my own trial and tribulation that brought me forward and helped me understand how important it is to educate yourself. Self-knowledge is the best. Self-knowledge is spiritual knowledge. It's spiritual awareness. See, when you become spiritually aware and you have true knowledge of self, you're not shaken up by anything that comes in your way, that stands in your way, that tries to push you off your path, that tries to make you feel down, to make you feel worthless. See, when you begin to understand who you are, it's easier for you to obtain and overcome any obstacle that you're faced with. See. Education to me is deeper than school, but school knowledge is also great. You know, I think one of the coolest things anyone can do is to up their game and uh, increase their library. It's time for us to increase our libraries. How many books are you reading? So you gotta understand that reading is a, is a training method of the mind. It's exercise for the mind. Sure you can watch things, sure you can listen to things, but reading is like, it, it produces a stronger vocabulary, if you would. It also helps you increase yourself as an individual with being able to give someone a jewel or a gem on how to receive or become a better person as well. It's time for us to look at all this information we take in and, and all this education that we take in and start circulating it back out to the people, you know, that don't have this education. You know, a lot of times when people become educated, they become arrogant. But arrogance is ignorance. Arrogance is ignorance. Plain and simple. Whoever's arrogant on that level, they're ignorant. They just don't know any better. Because the more knowledge you obtain, the more humble you become. See, we have to stop walking past people acting as if they don't exist. You know, when you see a guy that's not doing well and, you know, you may see him in front of a 7-Eleven or a liquor store and he's, he's drunk out of his mind, you know, you have to understand the same thing that's in you is within him. It's just sleep. He may just be unaware of it. He may not know. Don't walk past him. Don't look as if, you know, don't look at them. Don't look down on people. Don't look down on the guy that's, that's down and out, you know. If anything, say a kind word, you know, to ask you for a dollar, you know, sure, maybe for some alcohol, maybe for, you know, saying to go 
take care of their drug habit, whatever it may be, but understand that, you know, in a matter of degrees, they're the same thing you are, which is pure consciousness, pure God. Understand that and treat people well. Don't get educated to be over someone. Don't achieve knowledge and information so you can just be able to debate and argue with other brothers and sisters. It's enough of that. What are you using your education for? What are you obtaining this knowledge for? Your intention behind what you're doing will always show itself. And always remember, arrogance ain't nothing but ignorance. So to the people out there that are being arrogant based on education, stop it. Because in God's eyes, we're all the same. Everything differs in a matter of degrees. This is Kenyatta of Hip Hop Motivation. I hope that helped you. Stay safe, stay aware, stay awoke. Make sure you sit still every single day in silence. Whether you meditate or not, sit still in silence and listen to the greatness that's within yourself. Peace and blessings. What's happening? This is the big homie Kenyatta. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube page. And if you haven't already, hit the notification so you can get an alert each and every time our hip hop motivation videos come up. And also, thank you for your support. Peace and blessings. Yo, you can either think of a master plan or get mastered by somebody else's plan. Check it. As a barber, one of the most important life lessons I learned is to never do anything without seeing the ending result first. Before I understood the value of seeing results, I used to waste a lot of time sometimes doing double work because I didn't have a vision of where I was going. Then I started taking consultations more serious by not even turning on my clippers until I had a clear understanding of the result my client was planning to see. And in turn, it became easier to achieve the style they wanted to see in half the time. Real talk, the most successful barbers and beauticians are the ones that see the ending results before they start any service. Write, Write this, this down. down. This before down. making any moves, know where you're going. Deciding from thoughts of being sick and tired of something, starting something, or admiring something can be the emotions that fuel change. Because write this down. Emotion leads to passion. Passion leads to action. And action leads to results. Word up. Question. What's the number one killer of dreams? If you said fear, you're wrong. Fear is on the list, but it's not the number one killer. The number one killer of dreams is comfort. The comfort of a good paying job or in an active relationship can seduce us for many years into the rhythm of accepting things without making any moves to change. Further numbing us into a state of zombie-like passiveness. Write this down. Passiveness will cause your dreams to pass you by. And when you're writing a book, day I'm writing. I also have a book. You know, I have a um, <laughs> book called Culture Vultures. Yeah, what's it called? It's mm-hmm. called Culture Vultures. I did. If you, have you ever looked at the hip hop motivations that I do? Yeah, That's absolutely. The, so, yeah. me and um, Kenyana did a book, and I've it's already written. He wrote it. We we done with it, and I'm also giving it out in different ways. So it's gonna be an auditory experience as well. This is serious. The fashion game, Culture Vultures, the book. Okay. In business, Dame is a guy that's worn many hats.